My name is Greta Berg. I am 15 years old and I'm from Sweden. I speak on behalf of Climate Justice Now. Many people say that Sweden is just a small country and it doesn't matter what we do. But I've learned that you are never too small to make a difference. And if a few children can get headlines all over the world just by not going to school, then imagine what we could all do together if we really wanted to. Ini baru 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 kali ini. Saya juga di sini. Saya ini ini baru saya ini. Iya. Saya ini masih dalam jalan saya ada tarik. Ini baru saya dia. Kayaknya dia seturun nih, dia seturun. Mira, y sí está completamente parado. Sofía, what is God? In monotheistic thought, God is conceived of as the supreme being and the principal object of faith. Sophia, do you have a faith? Doesn't everyone? Well, some, some have different faiths. Mira, le salió algo de abajo. Le salió algo de abajo. Moving on to our top international story this hour, we are following some disturbing news out of the tech world. As this week, the Confederation of British Industry, or CBI, issued a warning about the future of microchips in the workplace. According to The Guardian, a British company has already fitted 150 implants in the UK alone. Nam, nam mengusup surutnya masih ke laut. Nah itu tanjung keluang. The far north has been saturated by three days of continuous heavy rain. Water is barreling over barren falls. Popular tourist spots are drenched. No matter how uncomfortable that may be, You only speak of the green, eternal economic growth because you are too scared of being unpopular. You only talk about moving forward with the same bad ideas that got us into this mess, even when the only sensible thing to do is pull the emergency brake. You are not mature enough to tell it like it is. Even that burden you leave to us children. But I don't care about being popular. I care about climate justice and a living planet. Pero como que tienen dirección, pero... Sí, pero hay más lejos.
A 2.6 magnitude earthquake near Saratoga Springs jolted some Utah County residents over the weekend. Now, it didn't cause any injuries, didn't cause damage, but it did remind all of us that much of our state, including the Wasatch Front, is on an active fault zone. ABC 4's Rick Aaron is live in Salt Lake City with more on the likelihood that we could experience a major quake here. Rick. Well, Don, apparently it's even money. Seismologists say it's about a 50-50 chance that the Wasatch Front will experience a magnitude 7 earthquake or larger in the next 50 years. So how ready is Utah for the big one? Chicago River is filled with chunks of ice. It is a broken sheet of ice from the Michigan Avenue Bridge through the loop. You can see the water moving just a little bit there under the ice, but not too much. At worst, going to fall in the minus 50s somewhere, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. Wet or dry, it's dangerous. It is. You cannot spend any amount of time. You've got about five to ten minutes outside with exposed skin in conditions like we'll have this time 24 hours from now. Oh my god, look at that. Let's go pan slowly. See, that is kind of north. There's another face there. Satellite photo shared online this week claimed to show at least three potential locations for the MH370 flight. The claim comes in a YouTube video titled MH370 Possible Sighting Using NASA Satellite Data, uploaded by user Darren Bailey. The most bizarre satellite snapshot appears to show a vaguely plane-like object directly to the west of Malaysia and Indonesia. Mr. Bailey wrote under the video, MH370 possible sighting using NASA satellite data provided by Zoom Earth. Can't remember. What made you want to become a licensed helicopter pilot? Uh, conspiracy theory <laughs> and uh, living in Los Angeles. Uh, what is the conspiracy theory that led you to it? Um, well, I'm not into like, you know, people think if you're into conspiracy theory, they just automatically think that you think, you know, you think there's lizard people and shapeshifters. And I just sort of read up on the banking system and I'm like, this is kind of a giant Ponzi scheme. <laughs> like, what if it ever hit the fan? How do I get out of here? And it just seemed like up and out <laughs> was the only way to do it. So he did say that something was going to come out of the sky and hurt a lot of people. He did say that. The boy did say something bad was going to happen, but we didn't think it was going to be the tornado. The fascination about the boy is this. I never got to see him. Our civilization is being sacrificed for the opportunity of a very small number of people to continue making enormous amounts of money. Our biosphere is being sacrificed so that rich people in countries like mine can live in luxury.
This is a view a lot of neighbors out here have. You can see behind. Digging out after sidewalks, grass, and trees were swallowed up when a large underground storm channel collapsed last week under the weight of thousands of tons of soil. And homeowners are on edge. I don't feel safe yet. Last night, Jackson County 911 received several reports of an earth shaking sound. A couple people called in and saying they'd heard this loud, loud boom in the county. And uh, of course, we uh, immediately went to checking on that. We checked all over the area and we never found anything. Devana Heisel lives in the northern part of the county. She says the mysterious boom shook the foundation of her house and scared a few of her neighbors.